Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can upgrade the SSD storage on your Acer Aspire 5 Slim Series laptop. And whatever we are going to discuss here is also applicable to the Acer E15 Series laptops. So by the way, I have already reviewed both these laptops on uh, this channel. I will throw a link in the description below if you are interested in watching detailed review of both these laptops. But the purpose of today's video is to uh, show you how you can upgrade the SSD storage. So upgrading the RAM is pretty straightforward and I do cover those in the detailed review videos that I just spoke about but a lot of you were asking questions about how to upgrade the SSD now the SSD storage upgrade is little more tricky so I think it deserves a dedicated video the Acer Aspire 5 slim series laptop it has two slots for SSDs and uh, both slots are different so it has a M.2 slot which is the NVMe PCIe slot and then there is a old school SATA 3 slot. So the M.2 slot is already uh, populated. So depending on which model you buy, say for example, if you get the $300 AMD Ryzen version, you get 128 gigabyte of uh, onboard storage. And this is basically the NVMe PCIe SSD and it is, uh, you know, in the M.2 slot. And there is also a SATA 3 slot available in the laptop and it's empty. So that means you have two options when it comes to upgrading. One option is that that you just uh, you know replace the existing m.2 drive with a bigger drive this option actually is little easier because the m.2 sata drive is actually very similar to a memory stick and the installation is also pretty similar so you just take the new drive and you just put it in the slot and uh, call it a day so it's pretty straightforward but there are a couple of uh, negatives so the first negative is obviously you can't use both the drives so for example if you get a 500 uh, gigabyte drive you will have to replace the existing 128 or 256 drive which came with your laptop so that's kind of a waste right why would you discard the 128 gigabyte storage and the second problem is that you will have to clone the operating system so the existing drive has the operating system image and if you are getting a new m.2 drive you will have to clone it and that cloning process is also a pain in the ass so i will actually not recommend that you guys get the m.2 ssd some people do claim that the nvme PCIe type of SSDs are faster so if you really want a fast uh, SSD then maybe this is the way to go but for most of the people the easier option is to leave the M.2 drive in its place don't mess with it and go buy a SATA 3 SSD so I will throw a link in the description of all the compatible SSDs which will work with these laptops say for example you get a 500 gigabyte SATA drive that becomes your secondary drive and your existing 128 gigabyte drive also you know remains intact so you now get a 500 100 plus 128 so that's 628 gigabyte of storage so let me show you how you are going to upgrade the sata 3 drive so first things first you will have to open the back of the laptop if you have never done it before don't be scared it's not uh, that complicated and acer actually has done a good job uh, with when it comes to upgrading this laptop so you will see about a dozen screws on the back of the laptop so you will have to remove these screws and once you have removed all the screws then you take a plastic credit card or a you know a plastic knife and you gently pry open the back of the laptop so you can start from one of the edges and you can gently pry open the back once you have removed all the latches uh, then the back will come out after you remove the back you will have access to all the slots so as you can see there is a m.2 slot which is already populated with a 128 gigabyte ssd storage so let's not mess with this guy we can leave this ssd uh, as it is and we are going to upgrade the sata drive so the sata drive is empty as you can see here there is a slot for the sata drive and acer does a very good job it gives you all the things that you will need to install the sata drive so one important thing to note is that the acer laptop comes with some screws in a small pouch and you will need these screws to you know attach your your SSD and so make sure that you have these screws so as you can see here in the SATA 3 SSD drive area there is a mounting bracket and there are also some cables and connector boards so what we need to do is there are four screws which are holding the mounting bracket in its place and we need to remove these screws so remove these screws and put them aside we will need them later after you have removed the screw then remove the connector board the mounting bracket and all the cable and you can put them aside now the next step is that we need to connect our ssd drive to the connector board so if you look at the connector board there is a notch and this notch needs to match with the ssd so make sure that the notch aligns and then you insert the connector board uh, in the ssd 
Okay, once you are done with that, then we will basically put the SSD on top of the mounting bracket and uh, make sure that your SSD orientation matches with what you see here. There is only one way to actually, um, you know, put it. So if your orientation is wrong, it's not really going to fit. So once your orientation is right, then go ahead and put those four screws back. So you will see four holes on the side of the mounting bracket, which nicely matches with the SSD drive. So go ahead and screw those. Okay, now we will take the mounting bracket which has the SSD attached and we are going to put it on the motherboard in the same place from where we removed all these things. The next step will be to connect the mounting bracket to the motherboard. So the four screws that we had removed earlier, we need to put those screws back in their place. So the final step is to connect the SSD to the motherboard and for this we will have to use the cable which Acer has already provided. So as you can see here, there are locking clips and we need to pull up these locking clips. Now we need to connect connect the cable so the cable has uh, one side labeled as MB which is for the motherboard side so you take that side of the cable and you connect it to the motherboard connector and once you have connected the cable then you push down the locking clip so that will secure the cable so that's it guys we are done so go ahead and put the back cover of the laptop screw it back after you are done with that restart your laptop and you will see a new ssd drive show up in your uh, windows explorer i hope this answers the question many of you guys are asking me about how to install the sata 3 ssd and uh, i will throw a link in the description of all the compatible uh, ssds that you can buy for this laptop both the sata 3 ssd which is what i would recommend but if you want a really fast drive you can also go with the m.2 nvme pcie type Type SSD. So that's it for today guys. I hope you found this video useful. If you think uh, this video helped you then uh, please like this video and uh, think about subscribing to my channel because I tend to cover topics like this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.